Welcome to this video. Today I'm going to walk you through how to disable and remove Windows Copilot from the taskbar. And yes, you do have the option to come down here and right click taskbar settings. And right here, if you toggle Copilot off, it will remove it from the taskbar, but it is still technically enabled, it's just hidden. I'm going to walk you through how to permanently disable and remove it here from the taskbar first on Windows Pro, and then I'll show you how to do it on Windows Home Edition. On Windows Pro, just click on the Windows Start button and then type in group into the search and then open up the edit group policy option. Underneath user configuration, go down to administrative templates and extend, and then Windows components, extend, and then scroll down to Windows Copilot right here. Turn off Windows Copilot, it is not configured. And so if we double click on it, you want to set this to enable to turn off the feature, click apply, okay. And then after you do that, if you restart your computer, you'll notice the option is gone and it's no longer in the taskbar. Now I've put Copilot back and I need to walk you through how to do this separately on Windows Home because Windows Home users do not have access to the Group Policy Editor. And so we're going to have to do this in the registry. Please note, you do this at your own risk. To get started, you'll click on the Windows Start button and type in Registry Editor and then open it up. In the editor, look for Current User and extend the list. Go down to Software and Extend. Go to Policies and Extend and then Microsoft and then Windows. Now, if you do not see a Windows Copilot option listed here, you're just going to right click on Windows, go to new and then key. And then you're just going to call it Windows Copilot, all one word, capital W, capital C. And then come over here to the right hand side and right click new D word 32 bit. And you're going to call it turn off Windows Copilot, no spaces, capital T O W C, just exactly like this. And then once you have that there, double click on it. Make sure that you change the value to a one and then click OK. And then after you restart the computer, you'll notice the option will no longer be listed here and it will no longer be on the taskbar either. That is everything for this video, but if you do have any comments or questions, please post them down below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please consider sharing it. And if you would like to support the channel, go ahead and hit that join button, the thanks button, the subscribe button, and that bell notification icon to get notifications on future videos. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you have a great day.